Hey folks, Doc Sigma here again. Now let's not waste any time. We're going to go ahead and finish up the Intermediate Obstacle Course here in the world of Soleil. And some things you can't jump over. Let that be a lesson to you. And to me. Okay, mostly to me. So these obstacles Really, they're my favorite part of this whole game. Pity there's only three of them. They're, they're a lot of fun. They're just pure and adulterated running and jumping and classic action RPG fun. Ooh, that nice one. That one. They're just pure action RPG fun without any plot and without any sort of contrivances. I mean, they don't go out of their way to say that, like, you know, yeah, this is a temple, even though it has all sorts of, like, Block pushing puzzles. Why would a temple have block pushing puzzles and switch flipping puzzles? Well, they don't. They don't do any of that stuff. Oh, this is it's pure, pure and simple. It's an obstacle course. It doesn't pretend to be anything else. It doesn't have to, because it's an obstacle. Really, I really wish we could have a better companion than the freaking dog. It kind of sucks. Ooh, what's the sign say? If you screw up here, so you can take the spiked path up above. But you see, basically, blue blocks form like a fuse. So then, when you hit that red block. Boom! They all go away. I mean, it's until, you, until it gets to a point where there is no whole block. Later on, though, we're going to see red blocks that you move. And they act like a fuse as well, but in a different way. Oh, this freaking This is fun. It, 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 my memory of this part is so selective. Every time I do this, if I get it on the first try, I'm like, Yeah, that's fun. I love this part. But if I don't get it on the first try, then I, I'll just I'll talk about how much I hate it. So let's just see what it's going to be. Oh yeah, that was fun! <laughs> yeah, shut up. Another blue switch fuse. And look at this time, if you, if you mess up this time, you have to walk across spikes. So I'm getting, getting a chance to jump across them. Guaranteed damage if you mess up, folks. Holy shit, I'm almost out of life! How'd that happen? Oh, no. Gotta be careful. Ooh. No, I really, actually, I really don't have to be careful. Why not? Cuz... I got the silver map. Oh, shit. That celebration was very short-lived. Okay, I guess I that anti-celebration was even shorter-lived. I got the silver medal! Oh, hell's Eve. Huh? No. No, I don't want to go back. Where am I? Where am I? I can't see myself for the trees! There we are. And yep, this is the same little waiting area, or blue picnic table area, celebration place you get to after getting the... What the hell is it? The bronze medal. See, this is where I would have come out. Remember that, going through the river? I okay, just talked about how somebody you can go through. And over here is where I'll come out when I get the gold medal. Let's see what I can see. Yep. Can't get past that. The medal's right over there. I can practically freaking smell it. But nope. No good. Well, now that we got the silver medal, where are we gonna go? Well, we got past Dahlia Valley, so let's go to the place that's beyond it. What do we got? To go. Oh, there's a couple of different ways we can go. We can go to Nanami Beach. Or we can go to Hot Daisy. Ooh, Hot Daisy. Yeah, Hot Daisy, and then the place after Burn Daisy are both like a volcano. So I guess the volcano is Daisy? 
Hot Daisy takes place outside the volcano, and Burn Daisy seems to take place inside. But let's go to an enemy beach first. Why not? Ah, the beach. Deadly beach. I don't ever remember things on a beach trying to kill me. Oop, 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 ah. I like the footprints you leave. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool feature. I, I kind of like what they did there. Anything over here? So it doesn't really hit switches on the way back to you. Which is a shame, because I always think that it's going to. Another thing you sort of can't do, you might think it can, because it's kind of boomerang-like, is you can't use it to pick stuff up and bring it back to you. Or can you? No, actually you can't. Oh, but you can fall into a pit and suck up a point of damage. No, but seriously, stuff won't stick to your sword. At least not yet. Maybe it will someday. Not for a while, though. Certain I suppose a certain animal you can get to make shit stick to your sword. It's generally not a very useful ability. There's one place where you absolutely have to use it. And there's a bunch of optional stuff. Holy crap! It's Sonic the Hedgehog! Sonic! Oh my god, hey Sonic, hey Sonic, hey Sonic! Look, he's waving his finger and he's being all cool and he's Sonic and that starfish wants to kill him! And he's gonna kill me instead. I will sacrifice myself for you, Sonic. Will you talk to me? Oh, I'm kinda, I'm kinda nervous. I don't, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's, it, it's Sonic! Okay, deep breath. <sighs> what? Excuse me? A gallant hedgehog? Tiss, 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 I'm a gallant hedgehog? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Can you picture Sonic saying that? Can you picture him saying that in any universe? Adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog? Or the, the, the friggin' Saturday morning Sonic? I mean, the one where he's with all those... Freedom, freedom fighting assholes. I can't picture him. I can. Sonic! Sonic probably doesn't even know the word gallant exists. He'd probably pronounce it gallant. I think it was some sort of. Ugh. Uh, you're not Sonic the Hedgehog. You're some creepy cosplayer. And you're probably naked. And now we've arrived at a town. And there's animals here. And there's a bear running around. And Sonic. So one annoying thing is, anytime we want to go to this town, we're going to have to go through that beach first, because you may notice that we didn't go back to the map after we got through the beach. So it's not considered to have been like a complete dungeon or whatever. And this is the first time we meet Ramsey. We'll talk to him throughout the game. He's one of the only things we'll ever spend money on. And he will rent animals to us. Kitty is one you definitely want around. You always want to have Kitty with you. Kitty will bring you back to life if you die. Only once. And then she goes, goes away or something. So I guess this is that animal town that someone back in Soleil was talking about wanting to visit. I don't guess there's nothing but the animals here. I don't want to make way for Mr. Bear. You stop. Don't push me! Ah, Frank. Well, we've arrived in a new town, and who knows what there is to do here. There's really not enough time to talk to everyone, so let's... Yeah, let's let him push me again. Let's go ahead and call this a video. Let's go ahead and save. See, there's Kitty. I can't put Kitty in my party. Kitty just kind of stays there. Let's go ahead and save. And 
call the video. This has been Dark Sigma with Let's Play Soleil. See you around.